So I've just finished my race and discovered that my car was out of spec. I need to figure out what is wrong with this design and in order to do that I need to go to the outputs tab. When I go to the outputs tab it's not going to show me anything. Just like when you're doing research earlier you have to click on the design specifications paper icon right here and that will pull up the specifications. So look at this. Anything that's red I need to fix. So I've got two problems. The height with wheels, the maximum is 73 millimeters and mine is 79.82 millimeters. So I need to make my car a little shorter. Additionally, the wheelbase, the distance between the wheels can be between 108 and 268. Mine is 102.38. So clearly my wheelbase also needs to be a little bit bigger. So in order to make my car better, I'm going to go back to this engineering tab and I'm going to change the height and the wheelbase. So I think the height is going to be the easiest thing to fix. So I've got my move tool selected right here and I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. However, I probably want to turn off my refined solid view while I'm doing this. I want to be able to see this section right here. So this section, if I have my blank setup eyeball on, I can see where I would have to drill to put in the cartridge for the car. If I don't have a space to put the CO2 cartridge, there's no power for the car, it's not going to move. So I need to make sure that even though I want to make my car shorter, I don't want to cut into that. So right about here is generally good, a couple millimeters between that and the top of your car is going to be pretty safe. So I'm going to just change this design a little bit so that hopefully when we race it, it does beat my previous design in terms of speed. So I've got that done. I've changed this up a little bit and I'm going to see how that does. And the other thing is I got to change the wheelbase. Right? My wheelbase needs to be a little bit bigger. So let's just make that 105 so it's within specifications, press apply. That's going to move this front axle forward a little bit. And just to make sure, I'm going to go back to outputs, I'm going to hit design specifications, and oh, wheelbase. See, I've, good thing I checked, right? I clearly forgot what that minimum number was. That minimum number is 108. So let's go back to my engineering. Let's make that 110, hit apply. And now let's go check our outputs and our design specifications. All right. Now I've got another problem here, wall thickness. Wall thickness is the distance between the edge of your car and the cartridge hole. So what this is telling me is the minimum between the outside edge of the car and the cartridge hole has to be 4 millimeters, and mine's only 1.75. So that means I need to move that back end of my car up a little bit. So I'm going to go back to engineering and I'm just going to move this up. Now this back side here clearly is far enough away. If I slowly hover this, that's about 5. What is probably the issue is this curve right here. So if I kind of estimate that, I can see you know, where that was You know, down here was clearly about 2. So if I just move this up a bit that should get me within the specifications. So I'm going to click outputs, specifications again, and there we go. Nothing is red. This is a good design. It's within specs. It will count for an iteration. It will give me, hopefully, a higher score in my performance. So right now, I'm done editing this, and I'm going to go file, save, save and enter competition. I'm going to go to my competition tab and I didn't rename this so this one's still going to be car 2. Make car 2 contender 1 and make car 1 contender 2 and hopefully I win this time.
this time, car two was the winner. 1.5218 seconds versus 1.5905. So a little bit faster, but hey, it, it's better, right? That's good. That's progress, right? Even if it's only a little bit better, you know, that's kind of the goal here. This is how engineering works. You come up with a design and you keep iterating on it until you get it to the point where, you know, you think it's successful enough that you would be able to use it. So right now, if I look at my XP bar, I've got 44 points for my performance now as opposed to 34. So this is quite a bit better of a design. And then I've got 15 points on my iterations as opposed to 10 because each iteration is worth five points. So I still need 84 more points to level up. So I'm gonna go back and you know keep working on this stuff. And I'm not gonna actually make another model here, but I do wanna show you how you might determine some ways to make it better. So you've got mass, surface friction, and drag that you can look at in these analysis tabs. So mass, the only bar you can change on this is this one right here, this yellow one. So the mass of my car is 35.27 grams. <clears throat> if I wanted to make my car weigh less, that's obviously gonna make it go faster. So Maybe that's something I want to try to do. The drag is another thing you can do. If you look at the drag, blue is low pressure, red is high pressure. So if I click this rotate button down in the bottom right corner, I can click and drag and look at all the sides of my car. And I could change this design up until the drag looks a lot better than this. So, you know, this is all yellow. It's a little bit blue on the back which is good so I might want to go and I'll show you this very quickly what it would look like if I drag this down a little bit you can see well, still yellow right probably not much better but if I did something like this where I bring this up and I bring this down you'll actually see that over that curve now there's less air pressure. So you can mess around with the design a bit while you have the eyeball on for drag and you can see if it's low or high pressure that's definitely going to help you make a better design. So drag and mass are the two things that you can work on changing in order to make your car better. So aside from all of this stuff that I've showed you there's a couple little uh, things that I want to mention but I'm gonna leave it at this for this video. Uh, the next video is just gonna be a couple of tips and tricks, things that you might want to um, do if you run into issues, stuff like that. But as of right now, you know everything that you need to know in order to be successful in level one. So good luck, and hopefully everyone does good on their racing.